Wow! A carnival! Setting up this carnival. Oh. Ah! Oh. Oh. I need to freshen up in the worst way. Setting up tents oh, is too intense for me. Marvin, when are you gonna have that talk with Fast Talk and Jack? Well, I've been waiting for the right time. You know how it is. Jack's a busy man. He's not that easy to find. Hey, how's it going, gang? Woo! This is really hot work. Come on, now's your chance. Here he is. Go ahead. Hurry, Marvin, before he gets away. <clears throat> Jack, we need to have a talk. We're short-handed here. You know, I was just thinking the same thing, Marvin. You were? You were? were? Yes, sirree. I've got plenty of paperwork to do, and you've got a show to rehearse. Exactly. Why don't you take a break in the staff tent while I go do some hiring? Thank you, Jack. Wait a minute. We haven't put up the staff tent yet. Hmm. Well, uh, get it set up and then take a break. My treat. For a job, kid? I said, are you looking for a job? Hmm? Terrific! I'm the owner here. Jack's the name. Fast talking Jack. Hi. And what's your name? <coughs> Edward LaRue the third. Edward LaRue the third? Hmm. Well, that won't do if you're gonna be working here, kid. No, sirree. Um, let me see. How about uh hmm? Ed Eddie Largo? Great! Eddie Largo it is! You can start right away, Eddie. Come with me to the office and we'll get you all signed up. Excuse me, but we're not open yet. Hello? Uh, I, I'm sorry, I, I... I just started here. Oh, well that's different then. Welcome aboard! I'm Marvin! Hi, I'm Edward Lo... Uh, I mean Eddie. Eddie Largo. <laughs> Sounds like you're not sure. No, I'm sure. I saw your picture on the poster. You're the dancing horse. The tap dancing horse. Here we go, let's get on with the show. Cause I just gotta dance. Music up, spotlight on, flash that magic glance. Turn on the charm and follow me. Let the music set you free. My name is Marvin, and I just gotta dance. Watch me move, follow my lead. Tap, 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 one, two, three. Hear the music, feel the beat, just like do re -mi. When the world is getting you down, grab your shoes and we'll paint the town. Just let go and dance, dance, dance. was great! Thanks! Come on, I'll introduce you to the others. Hey, Diamond, I'd like you to meet someone. This is Eddie Largo. He just started working here. Oh! Hi! Hello, Eddie. Do you have any peanuts? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I love peanuts. <laughs> Me too! I'll bring some next time. I can tell already that we're going to get along very well. Thanks! Come on, there's someone else you should meet. Bye, Diamonds! It was a pleasure meeting you, Eddie. Hey, Stripes! Not now. I'm working on a new roar. Yes, I like that one. I've got someone here who'd like to meet you. This is Eddie Largo. Jack just hired him. He did? Well, it's about time we got some more help around here. Shake hands. He won't hurt you. Pleased to meet you. 
I've got a list of things to do as long as my tail. Listen, make sure you put plenty of milk on my crunchy critters. I like them nice and soggy. Excuse me? Anybody home? I'm sorry. I was looking at your eyes. They're so green. Yeah, that's what everybody says. Hey, Elizabeth! <gasps> Meet the newest member of our crew, Eddie Largo. Actually, Marvin, I'm in a bit of a hurry, and... Eddie, meet Elizabeth, the emotional pig. There's a name to be proud of, huh? I don't mean to be rude. It's just that I have something very important to do. What have you got there, anyway? No, please! <gasps> wow, are you a fortune teller? No, she's an emotional pig. That's her claim to fame. So, why'd you take Edna's crystal ball? <gasps> I didn't take it. I, I'm just borrowing it. Does Edna know? She's gone to town to get lemons. Edna makes the best lemon ice in the county. So what are you going to do with it, Elizabeth? <gasps> well, I, I thought maybe I could see my future. Here, put it down and you can have a look before Edna gets back. I don't see anything. Here, let me have a look. Uh, oh, do you see anything, Stripes? No, you're fogging it up with your sniveling. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Did you see something awful? Yes, your snout, really close up. I've watched Edna, she just stares into it, kind of like she's in a trance. And she waves her hands over it. Oh, do you think I should try? It wouldn't hurt. Mm. Do you see anything, dear? No. It can't tell you anything if you don't ask it a question. Of course, that's it. Ask it a question. Okay, now, uh, let's see. Oh, Crystal Ball, tell me... Oh! Oh, great gorillas! Now what's the matter? I don't know what to ask. Let me try. Tell me, all-knowing Crystal Ball. Tell me your secrets. Do you see anything? Yes. I see Edna on her way back here. Oh, dear! Oh! Oh! See ya. Oh, no! Oh, what will I do? What will I tell Edna? She'll never speak to me again. I didn't mean to. Uh, uh. Pipe down, Elizabeth. I'm trying to read. Diamonds, you and Elizabeth clean up this mess. Eddie and I better see if Edna's back. What will you say to her? My advice? Admit nothing. Ah! Oh, the fresher they are, the better they sting. Hi, Edna. Busy making the best lemon ice in the county, I see. What are you after? A free sample? Oh, no, not me. Uh, I just wanted to see how things were going. Is this the new hired help? Edna knows all. That's right. I'm Eddie Largo. Pleased to meet you, Eddie. Now, there's a confident grip. Just what I need to finish squeezing these lemons. Come around back and wash your hands. Where are you going? To the fortune teller's tent. Why on earth do you want to go there? Why not? What's the matter with you? Here I am. You have to show Eddie how to squeeze the lemons. And I have to rehearse a new dance number. I'll see you later, Eddie. Bye, Marvin. Hmm, he's up to something. I don't need a crystal ball to tell me that. That's good. I mean, um, so how do you squeeze these things? Good, you cleaned up all the glass. Now what are we going to do? Like I said, admit nothing. That's not the answer. Suppose Edna asks us if we know what happened to her crystal ball. That's right, if she asks, we can't lie. Maybe she won't ask. Then we won't tell her. <laughs> and she won't have her crystal ball to tell her what happened. Oh, this is all my fault. I'll have to tell her. I can't carry this guilt for the rest of my life. Hey, everyone. I learned how to squeeze lemons. Yep, this kid's a natural. Hmm, seems awfully quiet around here. Is there something going on I ought to know about? Going on? <laughs> what could possibly be going on? Do you know about anything going on? I only know that I have to be going. It's just 
just a normal, ordinary, everyday day around here. Isn't that right, Elizabeth? <laughs> yes, it's just a normal day for Elizabeth, too. She is emotional, after all. I broke your crystal ball! <laughs> well, did you get another one from out under the counter? What? Well, there's a whole box of them in my trailer. You mean there's no power in the crystal ball? Well, not for me, but my public demands one. But then, how do you tell all those people so much about themselves? It's all in the eyes, dear boy. I look into their eyes. Oh. For instance, I know Eddie Largo isn't your real name. <gasps> You're right. How did you know that? When Marvin introduced you, I could see the uneasiness in your eyes. That's amazing. Why didn't you tell us your real name? Because it's Edward LaRue the Third. Edward LaRue the Third. I like that. Yes, it sounds quite distinguished. We don't mind using that name. Well, I kind of like Eddie Largo now. Then we like it too, Eddie. I can see something else. Oh, what is it, Edna? I can see that we're all going to be very good friends. <laughs> and I don't need a crystal ball to tell me that either. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>